Hey guys, it's 8-Bit Eric. I'm back with some more Nintendo Switch eShop content. The best on the planet, baby. So if you're brand new to the channel, feel free to throw that subscription and smash that like button because today we're talking about some Switch eShop games that you need to stay away from because these are pretty bad so without any further ado let's go ahead and begin today's video first off off the bat we are going to talk about a game called bus fix 2019 it's about fixing buses in the year 2019 and this is bus fix 2019 we can already tell this is going to be a great game of the year right um i actually played a game similar to this it was like car mechanic or whatever and car auction quite a while ago didn't really like the interface and this one looks like it is actually the same type of thing. So obviously we're going to be fixing buses. Uh, so I guess the idea is you find, you know, I guess this is what I have as far as the basic tools. And game, this, this interface feels a lot like it's meant to be played with uh, just the touchpad, but it does have pro controller support. So we're... I honestly, I tried to figure out how to play this game and I'm like, I guess I just did something right there. I have no absolute idea saying I'm making profit, but look, look at this. I, I guess we're doing it <laughs> or maybe I went into the negative right now. Like, I don't know. I just, I just can't really get behind a game like this. So we're going to... We're going to fix, I guess we come down over here and uh, let's start the service and okay, we're not moving the bus. So uh, let's see, what do we got? Parts, right? See, like, honestly, <laughs> With this game, just like the other ones, I'm like, okay, what, what what are we supposed to do? Like, am I missing the objective here? She has windows are shut, but she can smell fumes. So, okay, okay, what, like, what do you want me to do, lady? So we're fixing your shit, right? Okay, and then what? Like... Okay, I did something. Alright. <laughs> like, like, like what, what the hell am I doing here? This is like, so weird of a, of a Switch game. Wrong part. So... We need side window left. Four. Side window left four. All right, so now I just repaired the windows. Oh, okay. So uh, what else did she need me to do? Did that. So now we need symbols on the display panel front lights so let's where the front lights at i don't even know how i did any of this i'm literally just clicking the buttons around <laughs> it's like like what, what am I supposed to do here? I opened that shit. Okay. But, I, I, like, honestly, like, there's no, like, tutorial. Like, there's the, there's the credits, right? There's just the options. <laughs> like, like, Okay, I get the premise here. I get it. You guys want... You guys want to make a game that is, like, bus fixing and stuff, but... what What's going on here? Like, I, I, I don't get it. Like, I, I don't even understand who this caters to or, or anything like this. These Honestly, these car mechanic games are some of the worst games I've played. 
Not because they're bad as far as how they go. It's just how are you supposed to figure out what to do? If anybody can figure out what to do, like how to go to each of these freaking little problems on the bus, feel free to let me know because I'm over here trying to figure out. So obviously you got to repair the windows, but it's like, okay. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I think I give up on this one. Oof, enough of that one. Now we're going to change it up with a little bit of a more of a puzzle game by the name of Captain Cat has you fishing for fish as a cat. Who's a captain? This is kind of like a weird puzzle game where you play as a cat who's a captain and you're on a boat. I've played quite a little bit of it. Um, it, it I guess it's kind of interesting. You know, it has a cute little cartoon feel to it. Things like that. Oh, well, you know, it's it's a budget switch game first and foremost, so don't be expecting game of the year candidacy or anything like that. But it is kind of cute. All right, so here we go. This is level one dash one. So you're the cat who's on top of the stage. So you control the boat as you can see like this, and you have an anchor that you release, and you have to like see how it's swaying left and right. You time it and you shoot it or you push A and you kind of move it around. And the goal is to get the coins, but ultimately to get the fish, all right? So, boom, like that. Now that was an easy opener. That was like nothing there. And of course, the idea is to get three stars and uh, get a high level. So that was just like a very simple little, little teaser as far as the gameplay goes. Cause now, you start to see a little bit more in way of, of certain obstacles and stuff. And uh, I, 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 I think you're able to unlock certain stuff if you get enough coins, things like that. But, you know, it's going to take a lot of effort. <laughs> so here we go. And I did not beat my score that time. So I actually did better in the past. And uh, it, it, I guess it's kind of like a mobile game, a little bit of an arcade game. Uh, again, it's uh, gameplay mechanics are rather simple. It's easy to pick up and play. So, you know, you can't expect some kind of huge AAA gameplay from, from something called Captain Cat with the way that the video game's actual artwork looks. Um, so you can see it's coins, then it's the fish, and then it, I think it's like other stuff that it ranks you off as. So I obviously didn't get all the coins the last two rounds or anything like that. But honestly, you know, I don't know. Is this game fun? Uh, it depends. Obviously, this is probably catered towards a younger crowd or a crowd. I don't know. I don't even know because it seems like it would be a bit challenging for a younger kid. But, you know, it is also cartoony. So who knows? I, I would say it's appropriate for all ages. Uh, but the gameplay does get a lot tougher as you proceed and as you go further on in the game. Um, it, it's simple in its style, its presentation, everything like that. Uh, now it adds a new element, which are like these little like portals, like these little black holes. Um, and it slowly but surely adds in new elements, mechanics, stuff like that. But you can see, boom, right there, just added it in. And it, it, it teleports you to a different segment of the stage. And there's some where it has tons, tons of little areas. And it's like, you don't know where they're gonna go. It might go right into a rock or, or something like that. And, and it, it gets like a huge puzzle type of element eventually. So the levels do grow quite a bit. And this is making me want some Long John Silvers. <laughs> Here we go. All right, boom. Right up in that, right up in that. I didn't get the treasure box. But, oh, look, I got excellent right there. Excellent. Most excellent adventure, boys and girls. So here we go, level one dash seven. And you gotta be careful not to hit your anchor on anything. Cause it will, it will screw you up. All right, all right, keep going. Oh, I got everything that round. 
Sometimes it's, it's like operation a little bit. You can't touch the edges. I didn't get the time bonus there, I don't think. So I guess you guys might get the general idea here. You know, it's it's not a bad game by any means. This obviously won't be everybody's cup of tea. But then again, oh, I hit the little side. But then again, everything. Oh, really? I pushed it again. A bad habit of tapping A. So here we go. All right, so now here where the black holes, see the black hole took me into this little segment over here. And right over there. So it does add a little bit of a, of a strategy of, of try on here and stuff like that. Some of the letter levels get totally whacked out, totally wacky, like, whoa, what in the world? So we'll do, we'll do one or two more just so you guys can get an idea. I know that's a simple game, so you guys are probably already decided whether it's something that you would want to get or not. See, like this one has a lot of different stuff. See, like if I went to the other hole, it would have had me get that treasure chest and stuff. So it's, it's, I guess it's kind of neat, but again, it's nothing like too extraordinary groundbreaking and stuff that I've played before. You know, like there's stuff that's out like this on Flash games and, and mobile and things like that. Oh, and look, now we have eels. The eels come out to play um, in a lot of the later levels. So you got to time it now going across. See, so, oh, but Eel got me. I guess he, uh, he bit, he bit where I connected at. Boom, so there you go. There's the general idea, guys. But yeah, this was Captain Cat. All right, now, last but not least, we got a shooting game. We got Redneck Skeet Shooting, which was, funny enough, demonetized on YouTube for the term redneck, skeet, and shooting. It's a triple combo, but let's go ahead and take a look at this final game. It's going to be as every bit of rednecky as you can imagine. So we're gonna start off at the backyard with Beal and the Sloth 19 pistol. So let's begin. Now, this is a low budget Switch Indie title, which is what I like to cover. So you aim using the left analog stick and you wait for stuff to fly out and you use the the ZR trigger to shoot and you got to pay attention to what you're shooting because every once in a while you'll see a dynamite oh man and it is a little hard to you can also use ZL to aim so that's cool I didn't know that so now I figured it out you kind of gotta watch out because every once in a while you'll see some dynamite dynamite pop up There we go, got a double hit. Oh, see, I hit the dynamite, I couldn't even tell. <laughs> so that's the premise of the game. Uh, you earn coins, these coins go towards unlocking different items and characters, stages and stuff. So you can see there's a junkyard, there's a dark forest, there's a supermarket, a mansion. And uh, says new stages coming soon, so they might be adding stuff. Now, you can see there's different characters, um, different items. Uh, I could buy, uh, let's let's buy some coins. No, I, I can't. I don't have enough. I ain't got enough. I can't afford that. So the idea is to keep shooting and stuff. So yeah, game of the year right here, guys. Game of the year. We got Redneck Skate shooting. Let's shoot that boot. There's a snake in my boot. Shoot the yard, the lard, the yard gnome. <laughs> I was gonna say the lard gnome. I'm the lard gnome. So here we go. It's, I mean, what can you do? So many games coming out in the Switch eShop, and then your boy plays them all for you. So you guys can obviously tell <laughs> whether you want. To buy a game or not i mean this one is very simple in its premise it feels like a mobile game and there's a ton of games like this out here on the nintendo switch it is very simple it's arcade like this feels like something that would have been like on the nes or something you know or atari you know at one point this would have been revolutionary gaming but 
You know, there's there's been a ton of games like this in the past. Thankfully, this game ain't too much. It's one of those lower tier uh, price Switch eShop games that tend to go on sale a lot. So, depending on when you're watching this video, it might even be less than two bucks. And it's not going to break the bank at all. But look at that. I'm at 805. I'm hoping maybe I can afford something sometime. Because I hate being broke. You know, too bad you can't e-bag in this game, right? <laughs> Oh, shoot. There we go. Alright, so let's... Oh, goodness gracious. I need a better gun. That's what I need. I wonder if there's like an Uzi or something. Maybe an Uzi that you can use to to shoot up everything. This pea shooter I got... Oh. Every stinking time, I'm hitting that fucking dynamite. <laughs> Every time. Every time. So here we go. Let's get it going, guys. Come on. Oh, right off the bat, they opened up with some Dino Mine. Dino Mine! So I guess the. Oh, shoot. Oh, man, did you see that? I barely hit that. That was some good shooting techs. I like that my guy's tongue is like sticking out of his mouth. If you look at him. Shoot that foosball. Mama said the foosball is for the devil. Alright. So we got 30 seconds. I wonder if you get a time bonus for lasting the whole time. So here we go. Man, it's really shooting the stuff out now. Don't touch the dynamite. Oh man, this is my best run so far right here. Got that triple hit, guys. I think I might be able to afford something now. I'm waiting for that dynamite to come out. <laughs> Oof. New high score. Alright, I have enough to buy something. <laughs> it took me long enough, right? Uh, let's buy that desert pigeon. Let's see how much difference the Desert Pigeon has. So there is a lot of unlockables in this game. Um, ooh, a little bit faster, right? Seems like, oh, definitely a little bit stronger. Oh, do not want to shoot that. There we go. Alright, keep going, keep on shooting. Man, that's a lot of stuff. You can imagine how fun it would be to actually shoot useless trash like gnomes and wooden ladders and, and foosballs in person. Oh. <laughs> Always getting that dynamite. So guys, I guess you guys get the gist of the idea. Redneck skeet shooting. There's a trophy room as well. Nice. Trophies are always nice. So there we go. We've got weapons, common trophy targets so it shows you how many times you've shot them and stuff like that i mean it, it is what it is it's a budget switch game nothing too groundbreaking or anything like that so yeah guys you can tell today's pickings were kind of i guess on the shovelware end of things uh don't recommend getting any of these games these games are all pretty much bottom of the barrel so you know the switchy shop is full of a lot of these games and i like to cover all of my bases i like to show the good stuff the bad stuff and the stuff that might have flew under the radar so guys if you want to keep track on eShop games and follow my content make sure you click that notification bell and sub and you will always be alerted of some of the best and worst games on the nintendo switch guys but that's it for today's video thanks a lot for watching i'll see you on the next one have a great day peace out
Hey guys, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric, and I just wanted to remind you guys that I will be at the Southeast Game Exchange in Greenville, South Carolina, Rick Flair Country. Can I get a woo in the comments, guys? Yeah, it's going to be exciting. It's my first time going to this convention, and I love it because it's up in that dirty, dirty south. So it's going to be August 24th and 25th. It is a two-day con. I'm going to be road tripping up that way with Jay from the Shady Jay Show, and we're going to be joining several other guests here. We got JLove81. We got Riff from Pixel Game Squad. We got NES Addict. We have tons of people. Who do we got? Well, let me fill you in with that info right here so if you want to come out we got ed and new zata i don't know i don't want to butcher your name but apparently he programmed a lot of apple II games a lot of saturn games genesis games so he's a big wig gaming programmer that's kind of neat maybe i'll bring something for him to sign we got limited run games in the house i'm going to be buying up all those switch games that i missed out on so you better be there or else i'm going to snatch them all up guys we also have um, olivia mears taco bell herself will be at this convention. I'm gonna definitely get a photo op with her. And then we also have, not to mention, some other YouTubers, Generation Gap Gaming, we have Rock Solid Productions, we have Your Player 2, Russ Lyman, holy crap, up and coming Russ Lyman, who's been getting all that momentum, will be here. Guys, come get him before he gets a gajillion subscribers. Then we also have, not to mention, BP Power, Kurt Weissman, we have Distant Star Cares. So there's a lot of guests that will be at this thing, but not to mention, you know what, forget us guests. Because there's going to be games here. There's going to be games to buy left and right. You're going to be knee deep in video games. And there's going to be retro and modern video game tournaments, tabletop tournaments, lots of things to do, panels. Looks like a great time. <laughs> so yeah, this is Southeast Game Exchange. Put the link to their website down below. Again, this is the 24th and 25th in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, I definitely am looking forward to it. It's going to be great weather. It's not going to be too cold. It's not going to be too hot. It's going to be just right. And you know what? Maybe we can get a beer afterwards, guys. This is a family-friendly event. And I also will be having merch available. The 8-Bit Eric Club will be in full effect. So be sure to pick up a t-shirt. Maybe get a, get a picture with me. And let's uh, become friends. Because I love meeting each and every single one of you guys. So yeah, looking forward to it. Southeast Game Exchange, the 24th and 25th of August. I will see you there. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.